Okay, here we are on the site of a new installation. We have our Mitsubishi Smart Multi. This one is a 36,000 BTU unit. These come in uh, various sizes, but this is a pretty unique application. Um, and actually the first application in which we've done what's called an IntelliHeat, which I'll talk a little bit more about. But basically this house is pretty unique. Um, we have a ton of, I don't know if you can see it, west facing exposure. We've got water there, which reflects sunlight pretty bad. Um, ton of cooling load for this house that we needed to deal with. And so this system is mainly for cooling. And you'll notice that we don't have a hyperheat smart multi here. Um, but what was really cool about this is we're able to take this smart multi unit, our refrigerant lines running there, go into the basement to a distribution box. And from there, we have one set of lines to a gas furnace. And so that's the IntelliHeat that I'll talk a little bit more about and show you. But essentially we can take this one outdoor unit, we can hook up to a gas furnace, which is feeding the cooling for the main floor. And we also have a four-way ceiling cassette in the very, very upstairs um, feeding the upper floor, a master bedroom up there. And so it's just amazing we we're able to take this one unit and hit two separate zones and especially hook up to a ceiling cassette, ductless mini split, as well as a dual fuel application with an existing gas furnace. And I'll, I'll show a little bit more about that. And then on the opposite end of the house, I'll, I'll head over there. We've also got a Mitsubishi two zone non hyperheat ductless system with just two traditional GL heads. Uh, we've got a 12,000 BTU head for one zone and a 9,000 BTU for the other. And that is pretty much it, but I'll go ahead and head over there and we'll take a peek at that and then we'll head inside. Okay, so here we are at the, uh, the view facing portion of the home here. And we have got our Mitsubishi, it's a 2C20. And essentially what we're trying to do with that is deal with the cooling load along all these windows. And so this, these two windows are in one room. We've got a 9,000 BTU GL head for this bedroom. And then you can see our refrigerant lines running here. We have got a 12,000 BTU head to deal with this big sewing room that we've got in the front here. And so between, um, we, we essentially in this home, we have four zones. We've got two zones on this system and two zone on the other. So this is a very uh, unique home. Uh, this is not standard uh, stick built architecture. We really had to get creative and split the load up on this um, to really do this right. And we had basically buried ductwork um, between floors on this, this home. And when we tested CFM, which is a uh, cubic feet per minute coming out of the heat registers, we knew that there was no way we were gonna be able to cool this area without going ductless. And so that's what we did in this application. Really nice clean work. That's paintable refrigerant line channel for this whole section. I'll go ahead and head inside. All right, so inside here, we've got our branch box for our Mitsubishi Smart Multi. And so it, the job of this box is to distribute refrigerant to the proper zone. We've got our lines coming in from the outdoor unit. And then we've got our set of lines, refrigerant lines for our IntelliHeat unit that's on our gas furnace. And then we've got our set of lines for our four-way cassette in the upstairs. So I'll bring you over to the IntelliHeat. Again, this is a new product from Mitsubishi. Um, we took an existing gas furnace, we redid all the sheet metal work here, and we are able to put a Mitsubishi proprietary coil on this gas furnace, uh, which is awesome because we can get the benefits of one outdoor unit feeding a ductless zone as well as a Mitsubishi in a dual fuel application. And it's great in this case too because we were able to use this fairly new existing furnace and we didn't have to buy all new equipment, so that's super, super great. Uh, the way this system works, basically we have this 24 volt uh, communication box. And so what that's doing is that's communicating with the gas furnace, the thermostat and the outdoor unit, the Mitsubishi unit, uh, to make all these systems work together. So essentially that is the brain of this system here. Um, just beautiful work by the guys, new electronic air cleaner. Um, and yeah, we're super excited about this. Um, and I'll go ahead and take you upstairs to the four-way cassette. Yeah. So up here in the very upstairs, this is our second zone on that Smart Multi 36 outdoor unit. 
we've got a ton of cooling load in here. These skylights actually are going to get covered for the summer, fortunately, because there would just be, uh, there would be a, we'd have a really hard time cooling this space without those covered. So basically we've got a 12,000 BTU four-way Mitsubishi cassette, and because we're so close to this wall, we've disabled this louver. So we really have a three-way cassette, but the beautiful thing about this is we're able to centralize this unit. We're able to condition this area here and this area, as well as back towards the bathroom. And so with a traditional ductless head, um, there's simply no room over any of these windows. And on this wall, it's hard to see, but it would have been almost impossible to get up here and it just wouldn't distribute the cooling the way that we really needed to up here. So this four-way cassette is really in the perfect application. And then with our refrigerant lines, we went ahead and we were able to find a route here, head into this laundry chute, this abandoned laundry chute. And we basically had to fish refrigerant lines down there for roughly 20 feet down to get to the basement. But um, that all worked out great.